make this an open space to hang out there and to develop the exactly. car of the future. It is about providing access to industrial grade tools, 3D printers, water jet cutters, CNC machines, everything that you need to go from your idea about what is going to be the next solution to actually make it. Okay, thank you very much, Damien. Thank you very much. At the moment, we have uh, roughly 44 million registered cars in uh, Germany. And most of them, of course, are not connected. For the uh, future cars that may be built, uh, yeah, connectivity might be one thing. But what is it? How do we get these cars that are not co yet connected yet? Um, how do we um, build network services for them? And this is uh, actually uh, right what our um, next speaker is building at the moment. Uh, he has a background in computer science, and he started his uh, startup ThingsNet in 2013 coming up with a very interesting device that might help to connect stupid cars and make them smart cars. Johannes Martins, please come to the stage. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to present you Tanktaler, our product, because we realize no one can pronounce correctly ThingsNet. Um, so what we are doing is we are trying to connect every car. And we have heard a lot about the future. I really love the talk we just heard before. But we were focusing on what can we do right now with the cars which are out there. So we just heard the 45 million cars in Germany alone, which are not connected right now. If you look at which cars are privately owned, it's 32 million cars which are out there. So what kind of problems or why is connected car interesting or relevant for us? Um, oh, OK, great. So one thing which always uh, bothers me when I'm at a gas station. Uh, I actually top up my car, it takes a minute, and then I have to walk into the gas station, wait four to five minutes in line till the guy in front of me bought his coffee, got his croissant, and, and so on. So we looked at our user group and we summed these numbers up. So on average, uh, a user here in Germany is spending 210 hours in his lifetime at the gas station waiting for payment. So that's more than a week uh, of, your, uh, of your life you're spending there. Um, another thing is when we look at, um, uh, at parking spot or the parking situation. We now reach that in some cities, more than 30% of the current car traffic at peak hours are people looking for a parking spot. So they're not, they actually reach, they were traveling from A to B, but now they're just looking for a parking spot. And this is happening right now. And to solve these problems, it's very easy. So, uh, in, in addition to this is, there are other people who are interested in these kind of informations. So, we just talked about uh, parking providers, cities are interested. It's not only the OEM who wants to have connected car data. There are other services as well. Think about a real estate agent who wants to sell um, or wants to rent out uh, a shop space. It's key for him to prove how many people are actually driving by this location and what kind of purchasing power these users would have. So these are key information in order to, uh, to provide this business. Um, and so there's one easy solution to this. So if every one of us would go out and simply buy a new car, I guess a lot of uh, our sponsors here would love this, and it would roughly take five to 10 years, and then the entire fleet in Germany has switched, and we all have connected cars. It's great, but we think this has to be way faster. Think about what you're currently doing with your TV. You have a great TV at home, nice flat TV, but unfortunately it's not connected to the internet and you want to see Netflix or Amazon. So you have two options. Either you buy a new TV or you buy an Amazon Fire TV stick or an Apple TV. And we are doing the same for the car. So we have this small device, this small stick. It fits into any car built after 2000. Um, there is an interface uh, for this. You just plug it in. It takes you two seconds to install this. Everyone can do this. You don't even have to, uh, you don't even get your hands dirty. It's when you have your uh, steering wheel right below, you can plug it in. And all of a sudden, your car is connected. So you get all the connectivity right now for the entire 32 million cars which are privately owned in Germany. And in addition, you get an app with this. And now you're wondering, okay, great, now I have a connected car. What can I do right now? And so we offer you three main things. One is, we help you save money. 
Owning a car and operating a car is expensive. Uh, you get two cent discount per liter at any gas station in Germany. And you don't have to show anything, you don't have to show a card and so on, it's just working. You don't have to do anything, the system's automatically detecting how many liters did you top up your car and you get this as a reward from the gas station. In addition, we're working with other partners to get more and more rewards around you uh, operating your car. In addition, uh, I already talked about topping up at the gas station. We have in, in Munich several gas stations live now where you just drive there, you top up your car, and then you don't go into the shop, you just sit down, open your app, just say I was at pump six, and then you drive away. And the system automatically pays for this. this uh, an additional thing we're doing regarding parking. We are detecting when you are parking in a, for example, on-street area where you have to pay for parking. So. Think of it right now, the situation, you have to go to this vending machine, you have to know how long your meeting will take, uh, you have to have coins with you, and then you have to go back and put this ticket in your car. With this system, you just park, you go to your meeting, you come back, and you drive away. And the system has done everything automatically for you. It's really, it's a little bit like magic, but it's actually doable, and it's doable right now. You can go on our website and get these, uh, these dongles for free. And last but not least, we also show you some information about the car. So where did you park your car? Uh, you have a drive lock there. Uh, is your car health, is everything all right? Think about this kind of weather situation when it gets colder, is your battery okay, and then so on. So if you're into statistics, if you wanna know, do I do more left or more right turns? All this data is available from these kind of dongles. So there's a lot of we can do with, with these kind of systems, and the key thing, you can do this right now. And I just wanted to bring you one slide on data about this product is um, we looked at data we get from the, all these devices we have right now. And what you will see is this is a map of Munich where we worked with a gas station partner. And we looked at, you see the yellow dots here are actually location of currently existing gas stations. And this partner is currently looking for where should I build my next gas station in Munich. And you can think about like gas stations pretty hard to move. So once you build it, you're actually s stuck with this particular location. And right now, the planning was always based on, okay, these are the major routes in a, in a city, uh, these, are, uh, these are the routes people will drive, so we will build gas station there. What you see here, the red dots on this map, are cars which are driving around with less than 10% fuel in their tank. And all of a sudden, you see there's a huge gap in this particular area where you see these red dots, where a lot of cars are driving with a very low fuel tank. And so this partner will build his next gas station right there. And so this is the kind of information which you can get right now from these devices and which is really relevant for these partners. So all I'm saying here is I love the future. I cannot wait to see the future, but we can do things right now to, to stop the congestions in, in parking areas in, in the city. And it's very easy available. You can just go on our website, get this for free, um, and just sign up there and we send you this, uh, this dongle to your car. It works in any car, and you get the app and can use a connected car right now without buying a new car. Thank you. Thank you very much, Johannes. Uh, how many users do you already have? Yeah, that's always, we, we just started this month. We had 500 users for a year now. Uh, we're trying the system, and we are now in, uh, have 2,000 users already signed up. So in Munich, or um, are they all around? Yeah, we are focusing on, on Munich right now. Uh, we have users who are driving around. In